Hey, Matt. Oh, hey, how's it going? Good. Good. Are you ready to show us about prepping a smoothie? <laughs> sure. So I've talked about making smoothies quite a bit and I thought it might be interesting to show you how I do it. Um, so I typically have most of my supplies out before I start pouring liquid because as we know, as blind people, we're notorious for tipping things over, at least I am. So I usually get most of my supplies out before I even put a drop of liquid in my cup. So before that, I usually grab a few ice cubes, which I'll do quick. I actually usually grab three ice cubes. I don't know why, but just what I use. Um, as for the device that I'm using, I have a Nutra Ninja. It's a lot like a Nutra Bullet. Um, it's just a, I don't know, it's pretty sweet. It's like a, it's a cup that you use and you attach a blade to it. And then you just stick it right on the machine, grind it, and call it a smoothie. So I use milk. Um, I go by sound and feel. So that feels about right. Probably weight. Sound, weight, feel, everything. Yep. So I don't have a specific amount of ounces that I use. So now that the liquid is in the cup, now I act very carefully around the cup because I've tipped many cups over in my day. So now I have a banana kind of. Sorry guys, the banana looks a little bit sketch, but Matt can still eat it. It's just a little bit mushy, yep. but I just thought I'd preface it by saying that we both recognize it's kind of yucky and that it's... Yep. I'm not and just, just letting um, Matt eat a rotten banana. Right. And just to preface this, Corey actually can um, coincidentally um, increased my life insurance yesterday. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. And then she gave me this here banana and she's like, here, make a smoothie. So, um, yeah. So what do yeah, I have? so we'll know. I have ice cubes, I have milk, banana. Oh, I add whey to my drinks. So this is a huge 10 pound bag of Optimum Nutrition whey. It's actually chocolate flavor. I buy 10 pound bags because I mow through this stuff. I, I usually have about three drinks a day. So, I mean, I go through this stuff pretty good. So one scoop is about, I think it's 25 grams of protein. Yeah, I, I do too. I, I was just trying to remember. I think it's like 20 or 25, but with- yeah, it's 25. Is it? Okay. Because yeah. then with the milk, it, it turns into like and 30 grams of protein. A scooper is, you know, this much. If you can see it, it's about- um, A quarter of a cup. quarter cup. Yeah. yeah, it's a quarter cup. Okay. So yeah, I use it. I, I buy these big uh, big bags of Optimum Nutrition Whey on Amazon. It's about 97 bucks for 10 pounds. You can also buy five pound and two pound, but I find for the value, it's cheaper to buy the 10 pound bags because typically a five pound container is about 57. So a 10 pound is you know quite a bit cheaper. Um, I don't think I have a spoon. Spoon. Okay, a cup. Uh, I also add chunky peanut butter, so I do that. Wouldn't that be funny if I tip my cup over on camera? Oops, I accidentally just hit the dishwasher, guys. Yeah. <laughs> the first time Corey has ever done cleaning in the kitchen. Oh man, that's not even true. The first it's, time. The, it's like the second time. So again, I use peanut butter just by feel. I have no idea how much is here. I just kind of scoop in. Mm. I was about to just <laughs> lick my finger off and the spoon. Well, I'll do it because that's what I usually do. Germy, germy, germy. No, I'm just kidding. That's what I always do, so why not? Yeah. I was going to make it a little more professional, but that, not whatever. This is just what I do. Yep. But he washes his hands. Yeah, it's kind of a messy process. Um, what else do I put in there? Ice cubes, that. Oh, one more item. I don't always have this on hand. Another thing too, if you've noticed, I always go back. I have this bad, weird habit of going back to the cup because I'm really weird about liquid, like in a cup, because I've tipped cups over so many times. Um, I always have to make sure the cup is safe. So in here, I actually have frozen spinach. Matt, what do you call the frozen spinach? Spinach chips. <laughs> That's what he calls it. Spinach. And then he usually eats it by the handful. Yeah, I usually do, but not right now. I'm not going to. So it's just frozen spinach. We usually buy huge bags at Costco. Yeah, it's it comes like in these, five pounds or something. It's like two pounds, but two pounds of spinach is a ton of spinach. So I usually freeze quite a bit of it and then just put it in my smoothies. And I typically just pack about as much as I can in there because you can't taste it anyway, so I don't really care. So 
So I think that's all I usually do. And then over here somewhere is my grinder tool. So this, um, just like the grinding tool, stick this on and just screw it on. And I'm always obsessed about making sure it's nice and tight so that when I flip it over, it, it doesn't leak. So then, yeah, you go like that. And then all I have to do is press down and it grinds. Are you gonna get that too? Yeah, I think so, because then they can see what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, so it's gonna be loud. Another thing too is I'm very protective about my hearing. So this thing's kind of loud, so what I do is I usually go like this, put my head on my shoulder to block one ear, and then I use my finger to block my other ear. Do it just like you do, Matt. Kind of weird, but that's just what I do, because I protect my hearing as much as I can. So anyway, here we go. <laughs> For a second. Throw that in a second, and then I stick a cover on it as quickly as I can. And that's it. Try and drink it, smoothie. Matt. You can try drinking it. You can try drinking it. Yeah. Then we'll know if it's poisonous. Yeah. Well. Yeah. We'll see if it's good. Does Corey want to try? Uh, I never do. Mm -mm. Yep, tastes like just like it always does. But it doesn't taste like spinach, right? Mm -mm. Not at all. What's weird is I've added a lot more spinach than I just did today, and I, you can never taste the spinach. It's so weird. I've packed that cup full of spinach, and you can't taste it. It's weird, but it's good because I like the nutritional value that spinach offers, but yet it's nice that I can't taste it overwhelming the smoothie. It's a great way to get in like your source of like a vegetable and like your greens. Yeah. So now another thing, I make it look like I navigate the kitchen really easily. Like, oh, he's not blind. Well, I've spent a ton of time in this kitchen and trust me, if there was anything on the counter that I didn't know was there, I would definitely knock it over. So typically whatever I do before I start a project is I make sure the counter space is cleaned off and then I know like, okay, the island is clean, so I'm free to move about the island. And as you saw me when I was making the, the shake, the smoothie, I was always very protective of the cup and careful around it just because I've said this so many times, I tip the cup over so often. It's just like, if I can just be extra careful around the cup, um, it's, <laughs> it's worth my time because Cleaning up a mess it just takes a lot more time than uh, you know just being careful around it. So, yep, and then I throw all this stuff away. And actually, he puts it in a very specific spot. Yep. So Everything goes back my bag, to the I know spot. she has touched it because it's moved. Even like the way that he puts the um, the scooper inside the way is yep. very specific. Well, here's the thing. I take the scoop and I reach back in and I scoop it back into the powder. So when I reach in the next time, I can just grab the handle and not reach into the powder. Corey just throws it in like a dog was thrashing around in his mouth and just throws it back in the bag. Well, now I know Now I know the right way, but I'm just saying yeah. like, it's everything that he's doing is, it's not like he's just really throwing or doing anything. He's really, really careful and specific. Right. So now if I remember correct, correctly, the island should be cleaned off because I put away everything that I recall pulling out. Right, Corey? It is. Okay. Yep. There's just, yep. So then I like to clean up after myself. This is one of the things we're working on in our house. And when oh. I say we're working on, I mean me because yeah. Matt has this instinctually that he is super, super good about clean everything. wiping everything off. We just, um, we recently got these like new countertops. And so we have to take good care of them. Well, well, even our old ones, we took good care of everything. Bad. It's just, not living like an animal? Yeah. That's oh, what we say at our house. <laughs> clean, clean. Yeah, it's good. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching us.